Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Fujifilm X100F and Fujifilm X100T. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Fujifilm X100F and the Fujifilm X100T are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 18th of January 2017 and the 12th of September 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X100F. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Fujifilm X100T. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Fujifilm X100F and the Fujifilm X100T. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X100F. And here are some sample photos from the Fujifilm X100T. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm X100F. I'm very happy with the product. It came as described and the shipping was faster than expected. I absolutely love the Fuji X100 camera. It feels and works like an old film rangefinder camera. It's small enough to carry all the time and takes better quality photos than a phone camera. The hybrid viewfinder is the selling point for me, and I highly recommend getting a filter adapter and protector for the screen. It's become my most used camera, and I haven't felt the need to upgrade to newer versions. If you're a fan of the 35mm equivalent focal length, this is the perfect camera for you. Here's what people have to say about the Fujifilm x 100 T. If you are a film generation photographer, the Fuji X100T is a great camera to consider. It has a very good APS-C sensor, great image quality, and feels like a film camera in usability and handling. The build quality is excellent, and it has a very direct and quick manual focus system. The new OVF improvements alone are worth the up. The Fujifilm X100T is a game changer for me. I've been on the hunt for a compact, high-quality camera to take on my trips, and this camera has exceeded my expectations. The 35mm equivalent lens is perfect for my shooting style, the colors are amazing, and the Wi-Fi feature is incredibly useful. The only downsides are the poor video quality and the lack of weather sealing. Overall, I highly recommend this camera to anyone with a similar need for a reliable and versatile travel camera. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Fujifilm X100F, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Fujifilm X100T, we will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. 